Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, back in the bedroom. This is the master closet. We gotta get some sheetrock in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all this stuff out and then I think we don't have enough sheetrock so we're probably gonna have to make a run to either Fairbanks or possibly Delta, we'll see. But anyways, I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna get all this stuff moved out so that we can make some room in here. As usual, <laughs> it's kind of messy in here. Let me show you guys. I got this room all cleared out. So Ryan can get in here, finish the sheetrock. You can see that the ceiling is done in here. He needs to do up top there. This whole side. And then this whole side. It's a little dusty in here, but Anyways, as soon as we get this all done, one more piece to the puzzle. I'm excited about it. All right guys, it's negative 32 right now and we're heading, it, heading out for a supply run. It warmed up to 32? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, you say 32, it's negative 32. Yeah, guys, <laughs> the truck's running back there. But uh, the closest town we can get supplies at uh, any real supplies is Delta, which is two hours away. Yeah. So uh, we were going to head to Fairbanks, but that's a four hour drive. Yeah, it's not cost effective. <sighs> not cost effective for what we need. We need to get some sheetrock to finish up our master closet. Uh -huh. And that way Brad can get in there and do some mud and tape and we can finish the floors in there. And then we got to pick up some, a few other items. And uh, so we'll take you along on our run. Yeah, nice, nice drive today. favorite things to do in Delta? The fire tacos. Fire tacos. They're so good. I mean, they have good burgers and other stuff too, but everything here. Man, good. we love the tacos. Well, we got some of our supplies here. You can see back here. We got, I think, eight boxes, babe? Six boxes of mud. And then and in then... the back, 12 sheets of sheetrock. 12 sheets, 12 sheets, 12 sheets of, of sheetrock. Sheet That's a hard thing to say. Yeah, we just needed to pick up a few supplies in Delta just to carry on with our projects mm -hmm. until we can do a big run in Fairbanks here, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know, in a little while. <laughs> It'll be we have a lot long. of work to do. Anyways, we're waiting for our tacos and I'll show you them once we get them. Oh yeah, the tacos. They're so delicious. Okay, Let's tacos. Oh, <laughs> look at those. It's like a I deep fried. I get the fried, fire tacos. Yeah, deep fried flour tortilla. I like to get the corn. Yum, 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 yum. Mm.
All right, guys, we made it home. You can see right here, this OSB, under the OSB, there's just one sheet OSB there, but we've got all the uh, sheetrock we need. All the sheetrock's there for the closet. That's all half-inch sheetrock. Underneath it is green board for the bathrooms. So we've got that, and we got the mud stacked over there. Everything's good to go for me finishing up our master closet. Then we can lay the floor. We're actually gonna lay the floor before they come in and mud and tape. We'll just cover the floor up. When they come in and mud and tape, hopefully that'll uh, keep it from getting all messed up. We've got the materials to keep pressing on. And I don't know, it's uh, dark outside now, so it was basically, uh, uh, you know, four hour round trip plus the time spent there gathering up stuff and uh, we'll get started tomorrow on the next project. Hey guys, I'm out in the generator building here. So we just went through a really cold Arctic blast here. We had a woke up in the morning. It was negative 58 degrees. So the big problem here out in the generator building, the reason I'm talking to you is this generator can't be cold started. This building stays warm and we plugged in this heater. All right, so we installed this heater for the exact purpose of keeping it warm in here. There's a few drawbacks to that heater and lessons we've learned I wanna share with you. You know, we know we live in a cold environment. It has been, I think, negative 20 below or colder for at least the last month. Three weeks to a month. Basically, once we go into winter and we hit winter, we hit negative temperatures. We're not like a lot of other places in the, in the even in the United States where, you know, you dip it down to zero or, you know, you might get into the teens and it's cold. Here, it's just below zero, negative temperatures, and it just sits there. Whether it's negative one or negative 60, we've seen it as low as negative 70 here. The one drawback is the propane heater. We put the propane bottles outside, and if you know anything about propane, propane freezes, or it doesn't freeze, but let's just call it freezing, at negative 40. So at minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, propane doesn't gas off. That gas, as it boils in the tank, creates gas, is what pumps to your, your whatever is running on propane, right? Well, at a negative 40, that is just stagnant. The fluid in there is just stagnant. It's not creating any gas, it's not doing anything. So, the heater shut down on me last night. I had to come out here, I brought out a big buddy heater, tried to get that started on a small propane tank inside the building to try and contain the heat itself. Ultimately, what happened, I had to take we have 100 pound bottles that run the propane outside that run our heater. I grabbed one 100 pound bottle, brought it in the house, I heated it up, got that to where it was heated, I brought it outside, I was able to fire up the heater in here. I grabbed the second bottle, brought it inside, heated it up, brought that out late last night, swapped bottles again, and now we've come into a warming trend. We're up above, I think we're at uh, negative 30, and I've never had a problem with our propane at negative 30. So the building's warm. It's awesome in here right now. But we just wanted to tell you kind of where we live, give you an idea of what we go through in the winter up here. You know, at negative 58, no cars are running. No, our snow machines aren't running. Our side-by-sides, no machinery gets run because we don't have a warm place to put them. They are winterized. They've got heaters on the uh, oil pan, block heater, and a battery heater. So we can plug them in. But one thing we learned last year was that the power steering fluid basically turned to, I mean, it was just basically sludge and it blew the power steering seal out the power steering pump. So unless you're gonna heat all these different components on your vehicles, once you get to negative 40, that's kind of my, my thing, negative 40 or lower, I just, it, just ride it out. It's hopefully you have your food, you've got everything you need at your house, you can stay warm with wood, and that's how we plan it out in the winter times. We just, negative 40 and, and lower, most times we're just gonna stay tight. We're not gonna run a lot of machinery or do any crazy stuff because it's just hard on equipment once it gets that cold. And you know it's gonna warm up in a day or two, just as it did last night. So today, we went through a full day. I think the warmest it got was negative 48. Then it dipped right back down to the, the 50 below zero mark. And so today, we're warming back up and we're into a warming trend for the rest of the time, guys. So we gotta get in the house. We gotta get some floor laid, get some sheetrock put up, but uh, let's get back in the house.
is so funny. The only hill, and I don't even know how far, and this moose <laughs> is up there, right on the top of it, digging for weeds. Right in our front yard. You can hear it nipping those little branches. All right, guys, you can, uh, I'm in the master closet. You can see I've got some sheetrock on this side. There's some stud walls behind me here. It's time to get the sheetrock finished in here in the master closet so I can finish the floor, get the rest of the floor that we laid in our master bedroom laid in the master closet, and move on with other projects. So let's get some sheetrock done. situation. Oh geez. Yeah, that's probably not going to go. I have to pull the whole thing out. It's going to be hard. All right, I have to pull the whole thing out. Go for it. Your Got it. Okay. Probably good. Let's see. All right. Take two. Good. Is there any way to tuck it 
behind that wire. Don't go too fast, babe. Okay. You gotta take it your way. Okay. Set it on this ladder. Just like get my fingers under it. You got it? I got it. Huh. All right, I guess you can let go. Careful on that ladder, it looks a little wobbly. Yep. All right, final piece. Final piece. I guess I should bring my screw gun up. Good idea. <clears throat> One tiny piece way up there left. That's it. Wow, this is crazy big in here. Be careful. All right, let's hope it fits. Ooh, she fits. Well, all right then. Like a glove. Good, good. Heck of a closet you got going here. This is like another bedroom. <laughs> All right, guys, you can see I finished sheetrocking this room. We'll get Brad over and he'll mud and tape and do his magic on this room. The next step is to sand the joints like we've been doing and get the floor laid in here. So, yeah, I think at the peak, we're at 13, 13 feet right here at the peak. So we're definitely gonna have layers of, there'll be storage in here. We'll put shelving up high where we can store stuff that we uh, don't need to get to and then down low will be a normal closet or a, a walk-in closet. Yeah, it's a good space to utilize and uh, we're super happy with it. So let's get to the floor. All right, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. I got the snow machine running behind me there and it's time to go check some snares. Let's go see if we got a rabbit. Spot. Let's see what we got. Not even touched. Well, I think we got some. Uh, I'm going to leave these set. And then we'll uh, look for some fresh tracks and we'll set some new ones. All right, guys, we're coming up on number two. Here's number two set. And look at that. We got a rabbit. We got a rabbit. That's awesome. Frozen solid in these temperatures. Very cool. Very happy to see that it worked. We'll throw that one back in the snow machine. All right, I'm so excited. That is awesome. I can't believe I was able to get a rabbit. I think I see some rabbit stew in my future. All right, that is awesome. We got one rabbit. Let's move on and check out the snares. We got some more to check. All 
right, guys, I just pulled up to another one of our snares. Let's go check it out, see what we got. Man, look at the rabbit tracks in here. They're just everywhere. Nothing. Nothing touched it. All right, so we'll leave that there. I'm gonna add some snares in this area. There's just so many rabbit tracks. All right, guys, well, I'm super excited. We got the one rabbit. And uh, I'll tell you right now, we got some rabbit stew to make. Let's get back home and start cooking. All right, guys, we're back in the uh, master closet. I got the sheetrock all finished up and I'm gonna get down and start sanding the floor. I'm gonna use that belt sander again. We're gonna get this floor sanded and then continue the bedroom flooring into the master closet. That's the goal for the next phase of this project. Let's get started. All right, guys, it's looking good. I don't want to bore you with this. I'm going to finish up. I've got two more seams to do. I'll catch up with you when I'm laying the floor. All right, now that we're done sanding, it is time to start laying floor. We're going back to the old click block floor that we laid into our master bedroom. Start making my cuts, get this floor down. We're just continuing on through into the master closet. so that the floor was laid perpendicular to the floor in there because a lot of times you want as you walk in you know the pattern of the floor should go with the longest wall of the room 
But when two rooms are connected, it's better in my opinion to continue the floor through without a transition at the doorway because it's the same flooring. To me, it gives it a more seamless or unified way to lay the floor. So I think it looked great. She's okayed it. She said she's not in love with it, but she thinks it'll look good. And I think it'll look great. All right, guys, so we have a, here's our bedroom. Sorry for the mess, but we got our bedroom. And then a seamless transition into the, into the master closet. And look at that floor. It's so beautiful. And then we got all the sheetrock up. And you can see super high ceiling. So that's about 11 feet over there. Comes up all the way to 13 feet at the peak. All right guys, so uh, I'm finished up with this job. I think it's time to get started on that rabbit. We got some rabbit stew to make. All right guys, so we're in our, uh, well, makeshift kitchen we have here. And we've got a, a propane stove here, which is the important part to this recipe. It's time to cook that rabbit. I'm so excited we were able to catch a rabbit. I've been looking forward to making this rabbit stew for a very long time. Guys, this recipe was given to me by my good friends down in Juneau, Pam and Jeff. You've seen me hunting with them, fishing with them, and crabbing with them in some of our past videos. And today we're gonna make Germantown rabbit stew. Let's get started. All right guys, well that's it for this video. Vaughn has never tried rabbit, so it should be interesting to see. That's not true, I've tried rabbit back when I was 15 years old, but I've never <laughs> tried rabbit stew. And the funny thing about this is that Ryan's been raving about it uh, for how many years now? I don't know, a long time. Our friend Pam says if she makes rabbit stew, he'll lick the bowl clean. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna give it a try and uh, 
We've had a pretty good video. We've been really busy. We saw a mm. moose in our yard, a fox out there. We've got yeah, some flooring good. done. What else did we get done? Well, we went through some major, major cold snap. That cornbread's tasty. Well, let me try it. Mmm. Mmm. That's a rich flavor. Whoa. Let me find some meat in there. All right, guys. Mm, what do you think? Wow, that's tender. Yummy. Yeah, it's good, huh? Mmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Yum. We're going to finish our meal. Germantown ra rabbit stew. This is awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one, guys. Yummy, babe. This is delicious. I think it's pretty good, huh? Oh, I'm scarfing it. That cornbread under it is yummy. It has like a little bit of sweetness to it. Right. Because mm. it's that honey cornbread. Yum. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, that rabbit's tender. Oh, yeah, it's like falling apart. Mm hmm. Taking turns, not a lesson learned. Who'd imagined I would crash and burn?